Well, let's get to uh, let's get to Francis Devlin. Francis said, "If the NWO were end up on Nitro and WCW on Thunder, as Eric has stated several times, who were the NWO going to fight themselves?" He goes, "I just want to understand what the plans would have been for the who the NWO would have wrestled against." You would have had. NWO would have owned that show, creatively speaking, yeah. but she would have had a lot of non-NWO roster members that, that would be a part of that show. Just because NWO owned it doesn't mean that you had to be in the NWO in order to wrestle on that show. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it just would have been a whole new foe, uh, you, you would, look, roster the, of opponents. At, at the time when... Thunder was launched. I think we had about 90 talent under contract. I think. And half of them would have been assigned to WCW Nitro and the other half, some of them wouldn't have been assigned anywhere. Some of them were just developmental talent. But for sake of explanation, 45 of them would have been signed to Nitro and WCW. 45 would have been over in Thunder. And some of those talents over at Thunder would have jumped ship and come over to the NWO side and vice versa. So you would have had the same picture that you had with NWO versus WCW, but you would have had a much deeper roster to do it with. Not everybody on the NWO show would have been a member of the NWO. Some of them would have gotten thrown out of the NWO. Some of them, much like Sons of Anarchy, for example, would have been getting uh, patched into the NWO. Yeah, yeah, and it like, would have been internal conflict within the NWO, just like there would have been internal conflict within WCW on Thunder. And it's that conflict and the drama that would have been a part of that picture that would have been driven driving the storylines. It's really not that hard to figure out. I'm, I've answered that question about a million times. Clearly, I haven't done a very good job, hence <laughs> I'm still getting it. But just imagine uh, it's it's like uh, you know the Dallas Cowboys, you know not. Not everybody that's a member of the Dallas Cowboys team is necessarily a fan of Jerry Jones. Right. NWO would have been Jerry Jones. There you go. 